can't believe Steve won these tickets to this cruise and chose to take us. I don't know. Something about this smells fishy. It's probably just the buffet. Steve told me there's unlimited seafood. Plus, it has the largest saltwater pool in the world. Hey, are you guys enjoying yourself? Oh, totally. But I'm getting a little hungry. What do you say we hit the buffet and then go for a swim? Good idea. Hey, where's the buffet? Oh, it's uh, right there. Right where? Right there, in the pool. Steve, how could the seafood buffet be in the... Steve, are you telling me that the seafood buffet is the ocean? Yep, and it has all the fish you can eat. No tartar sauce, though. That's extra. What? In the pool? The pool is the ocean, too? Yep, and it has all the fish you can eat. No tartar sauce, though. That's extra. What? I knew this was too good to be true. Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Jump off the boat and take our chances with the sharks? Well, it's got to be better than this. Yep. One, two, three. Andy, we've been stuck in the water for days. I'm starving. Relax. I haven't eaten either. You don't see me complaining. Yeah. You're a puppet. You don't eat. But us humans do. Besides, I'm starting to hallucinate. What's a hallucinate? I saw a video about it on YouTube. It happens when you don't eat or drink for days, and then all of a sudden you start to see things that aren't there. Why are you looking at me like that? Andy Parmesan. What? No, I'm not Andy Parmesan. I'm... Andy Frankenberry. Snap out of it. I'm not that either. Yeah. Water chicken. What? All right, now you're really losing it. There's no such thing as a... Ooh, a water chicken. I'm gonna eat it. Oh, no. No, you can't. It's so cute and helpless. Well, technically, I'm not helpless. I'm actually pretty tough. Water chicken. Technically, I'm not a water chicken. I'm a puffin. What's a puffin? Well, I can tell you that. A puffin is a bird that is so delicious. What? And they got these big chewy pretzels and they come with the mustard and the salt and the cheese is your friend okay i don't think so we've been stuck at sea for two days he's starving oh, why didn't you say so i'll send some of my friends to get him some food friends there's more of you water chickens out there of course but what are you exactly let me explain. I am a puffin, a species of seabird found throughout the northern hemisphere. Puffins got their name because of the way they look. Their downy feathers make them appear puffed. We're sometimes called sea parrots, or clowns of the sea, due to our bright colored beaks. There are four different types of puffins that exist, and they all live in different places. First is the tufted puffin. They're found in the Northeast Pacific Ocean, from Southern California to the Arctic Alaska and Russia and Japan in the Western Pacific. Next is the Horned Puffin. They're found among the many islands found along the Gulf of Alaska coast and Aleutian Islands and along the coast of Russia. Then there's the Rhinoceros Auklet. These birds live along the western coast of North America and the eastern coast of Asia. Last is me, the Atlantic Puffin. I am found all along the coast of countries in the Northern Hemisphere that border the Atlantic Ocean, though about half of the entire global population nests in Iceland. We vary in size. The smallest puffins are the Atlantic Puffins. They can weigh anywhere from 10 to 19 ounces. That's about the weight of a football and we can reach heights of 11 inches. That's the size of a roll of paper towels. The largest puffins are the tufted puffins. They weigh anywhere from 18 to 35 ounces. That's about the weight of seven baseballs. And they can reach heights of up to 14 to 16 inches. That's about as tall as a bowling pin. 
All of us puffins are known for our bright beaks, which can actually change color. In the spring, these birds attempt to look for a mate. At that time, their beaks and feet turn a colorful orange in order to attract one. These bright colors will then fade in the winter when it's no longer mating season. Us puffins are known for their bright and beautiful beaks, and it was recently discovered that their beaks even glow in the dark. The puffin's bill is perfectly designed for catching and carrying fish. Their bills have a layer of spines on the upper part of the beak. Using this and the small spines on their tongues, a puffin can catch and hold fish while opening its bill again and again to catch more fish. Puffins can hold an average of 10 fish in their bill at once. We also have waterproof feathers since we spend so much of our lives at sea. Did someone just poop in my mouth? What? Technically, no. That was a fish. Your friend said you were hungry. Oh, I am. I just didn't expect a living fish to be dropped in my mouth from a flying penguin. Yeah. What? You guys don't eat small fish? Nope. Us civilized folk like to eat the finer things. What? Dino nuggies, mac and cheese, buttered noodles, chicken parmesan. Any chance your uh, flying buddy can drop some of that stuff off? I should have let you starve. Oh no! No wait! I'm actually a big fan of you guys, and know a lot about you. Here, let me prove it. Puffins spend about eight months of the year far from land, bobbing around the cold sea and hunting for fish. In fact, they only come to land to mate and nest. Their return to their nesting grounds generally takes place in mid-April each year. Actually, puffins don't make nests, they dig holes. Puffins live in nesting burrows. Puffins dig their burrows using their bills and feet. They prefer to make their burrows in the dirt or between rocks on steep sea cliffs, so predators can not easily catch them. Puffins typically lay one egg per year. Atlantic puffins often mate with one partner in their lives and return to the same nest with the same mate year after year. And when a baby puffin is born, it is called a puffling. When they're at sea, they're excellent swimmers. A puffin can dive for up to one minute, but most dives usually last 20 to 30 seconds. While underwater, the puffin swims by using its wings to push it along under the water, almost as if it were flying. They can dive up to 200 feet deep into the ocean. And these birds fly too. Some puffins can fly at speeds up to 55 miles per hour. The puffin moves its wings rapidly to achieve this speed, reaching up to 400 flaps a minute. But even though they can fly fast, they don't land so well. Puffins are often seen crashing into the water or rolling onto the grass. Well, Mr. Puffin, it was nice chatting with you. I guess I'll do what anybody else does when they're stranded at sea. What's that? Eat my arms and legs. Wait, I hear something. It's too late. I already broke skin. It's so hairy and gross. Stop it. It sounds like... It doesn't matter. I already swallowed it. It's so hairy and gross. No, it's... It's our ticket home. Uh, it was nice meeting you guys. I'll be sure to have some dino nuggies for you if you ever visit again. Thanks, Mr. Puffin. We'll be sure to come back. Now let's climb this ladder and get out of here. Sounds gee. Uh-oh. I ate my entire arm. It was so hairy and gross. Help me. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I usually cover things like planets, presidents, holidays, or other weird stuff, but covering specific animals, like the puffin, is a bit new for me, so comment under the video with any other animals you'd like me to make a video about. And please, for the love of all things puffin, like the video and subscribe. Now, let's get to my patrons on Patreon who help me make videos for you. Without them, there's no Mr. DeMeo. So special thanks to John Arthur, Max and Kaz, Hannah Y, Luke Raposa, Nathan and Ava C, Charlie Stone, Dominic McAvee, Asher Evans, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney, and Brian, The Gauker Family, Kate and Sarah, Toothless and Light Fury, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Harper Benson, Connor LeCoque and Family, Creative Devin and Zach T, Greg Matlock, GC, 
Beatrice Bolar, Connor and Emma B, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Ian Parker and Braylon Callis, Ada S, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Virginia and Harrison Way, Xavier Freeze, Millie Fennell, Charles and Olivia, The Rivard Boys, Max from South Hall, Evan Lee, Emma and Lincoln Fancook, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Jasper, Soros Rex, Maddie and James, Connor Higgins, Sophie and Remy Keffer, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Lillian and Davis Sozin, The Greens, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Jordana and Aaron, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Elijah Robert, Elias, Mark Turner, Mabel and Graham, Alexander, Julian, and David, Philip and Anna Buckley, Zyla, Phoenix Cooley, Zane and Asher Davis, Kean Barnes, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Ben and Ollie, Wesley C, Rebecca Beanie, Miller Daniel and his mom Jennifer, Erickson and Alexander L, Gavin Meidel, Jaden, Danny, and Beeks, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Oshi, the Levinson family, Sam and Eddie from London, Lily, Annabelle, Thomas, and Everett, Lava Liam, Max C, Benjamin M, Kuchan115, Julie Sanchez, The Puffin Boys, Stephen McVie, Chris the Megalodon, Henry Pavelko, Sammy Osif, Liam and Evelina, Victor B from Canada, Julian and Joseph Pierce, Riker Smith, Callum G, Cosette, Minx, Mavis, and Enzo, Jack Hartzler, Christopher F, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Burning Wick, Solomon Caldwell, and Asa Caldwell, Madison H, JJ Schmidt, and Jakey Jake. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can help me pick my next topic. You can help me pick my next topic. Did I say that one already? You can do a ton of stuff besides picking my next topic. Plus, you get your name in my next video. So check it out. There's a link in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys.